Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the New Bedford City Council Chamber. It's a pleasure to have you all here tonight uh, on Friday, March 3rd, uh, in the year 2023. Uh, it's, it's nice to see the Council Chamber full. We're here tonight, as you know, for the inauguration of the newly elected Ward 3 Councilor, Councilor Sean Oliver. Uh, we welcome him and his family into the chamber as we welcome all of you here as well. We're going to begin tonight, please, with a moment of silence. I would ask you all to please bow your head, and for whatever your intention is, a moment of silence is, is expected. Thank you. I'd ask my colleague, Councilor at Large, Ian Abreu, to please step to the podium and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Colleagues and friends, please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Council. I am joined tonight in the City Council Chamber with my colleagues in government, Council at Large Ian Abreu, Councilor at Large Brian Gomes, Councilor at Large Shane Burgo, Councilor at Large Naomi Carney, Council Ward 1 Brad Markey, Council Ward 2 Maria Giesta, and myself, Linda Morad, Councilor at Large. Uh, we're also joined in the chamber by former Councilor Ward 3 Kathy Dana and our soon to be new colleague, uh, Councilor elect from Ward 3, Sean Oliver. I would now ask, please, if um, we could have Councilor at Large Brian Gomes come to the podium. Uh, Brian Gomes has been in the Council Chamber now, the longest of all of us. We consider him to be the Dean of the New Bedford City Council, and I ask him to please come to the podium and say a few words. Thank you very much, Madam President. Good evening. Good evening to my colleagues, our guests, and of course uh, the family of our newly elected Councilor. Tonight, we will inaugurate a Council of Ward 3. You haven't had much time, which we would call a honeymoon around here, um, and it's often been called where you get elected in November and you've got November, December, and then here comes January and you get sworn in. That's what I mean by a honeymoon, because after that, you are now counselor, the phone be calls begin, the opposition begins, you are about to be sworn into an office that you become part of a team of 11 representatives of the city of New Bedford, representing all people of the city of New Bedford. From the north to the south, even though you're a Ward 3 councilor, many of your actions will, and your votes in this body will be in the entire city. Respect that. Take into consideration every motion, every vote. Do the best that you can to represent the people of the city. That's what your other 10 colleagues do here each and every day. This is not a part-time job. It's 24-7. You never know when that phone is going to ring, when a constituent needs you, when a colleague needs you. The city needs you. Be ready. The honor that you get this evening is one that many people wish for. Many people run for office and they're not successful. You have the opportunity to show the people of this city who you are, what you represent, and more importantly, more importantly, the city of New Bedford each and every day. To your family that has gathered here tonight, you should be very proud. This is a very proud moment for you. I know how proud my family was. I know how proud I've seen a lot of my colleagues in this building get sworn in and how proud that first night is. To the family, there will be some sacrifices. There will be times when Sean won't get home on time because he's at a meeting or he's at a function where you've been held up a little while. 
please excuse him and know that it's not intentionally because we all love our families that sit here but we have another family and that is our family the 11 of us that represent the city of new bedford and your biggest part of your family the city of new bedford god bless you do the job for the people make your family proud do it with dignity respect and commitment thank you for the opportunity Again, to our guests this evening, thank you for being here. Thank you, Council Gomes. I'll now ask our city clerk, Dennis Farias, to read the certificate of the election. Thank you, Madam President. Tonight, it's my privilege and honor to swear in the newly elected Ward 3 City Councilor, Sean Oliver. The certificate of election which he will be receiving tonight reads as follows. City of New Bedford, Massachusetts, Office of the Election Commissioner's Certificate of Election. This is to certify that at a meeting of qualified voters of the City of New Bedford, held on the 28th day of February in the year 2023, Sean Oliver was elected to the Office of Councilor of Ward 3 for the remainder of 2023 and shall serve his term until his successor is elected and qualified. This is signed by the Board of Election Commissioners, Manuel DeBrito, Jr. Chairman, Henry G. Bousquet, Lisa P. Dunaway, and Donald R. Gardette, Jr. I would like to now invite Councilor-elect Sean Oliver to the podium with me for the oath. I, Sean Oliver. I, Sean Oliver. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Perform the duties of city councilor. Perform the duties of city councilor. In accordance with the laws and the Constitution of the United States. In accordance with the laws and the Constitution of the United States. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of New Bedford. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of New Bedford. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Council Oliver, will you take your seat, please? <laughs> Council Carney, move that coat. <laughs> Before we close, again, it's a pleasure to have all of you here with us tonight uh, to welcome Sean and to welcome his family to the New Bedford City Council Chamber and all of you as well. Uh, we thank you for coming and participating tonight. And I ask you to please close with a prayer. Uh, again, once again, for your intention, but for our city, for those who serve, serve our country, serve our city, uh, please, a moment of silence as we close our, our proceedings. Thank you very much. Colleagues, a motion to adjourn would be appropriate. So second. All right, made by some of you, second by the rest of you. <laughs> all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, the ayes have it. We are officially adjourned. Thank you all. <laughs>